ladies, how's it going? Hope everyone had a good day today. Um, I'm going to go ahead and apologize for any background noise you might hear. They, of course, are mowing today because it actually hasn't rained up here yet. And I've been trying to wait for them to stop. <laughs> Every time that I think they're done, they start again. <laughs> so I'm going to try to push the route and hope they're done in front of my building at least. So we ended up having a tie between um, palette one and palette five, which are the nudes and the unicorn palette, as people have taken to calling it, and I just dropped that one. Um, so today I'm going to go ahead and do palette one um, two different ways, because I know you guys have seen me use this, and it is pretty versatile. So I'm going to show you two different looks, um, one on each eye with palette one. I figured we'll do palette five tomorrow for a fun Friday look. So, okay, and just to kind of remind you guys, this is palette one. I said it's kind of our nude palette. Um, it has a couple matte colors um, and some shimmery ones, and this one is really shimmery, swanky, it's gorgeous. Um, but this is kind of an easy go-to because anyone can wear this. Hey, Melissa. Um, anyone can wear this palette because it's really versatile. Um, and you can wear it so many different ways. You can do like a light natural look or a darker, um, like smoked out look. So we're gonna try a little bit of each. So I'm gonna go ahead and do my lighter look. I about poked myself in the eye. <laughs> um, we're gonna do a lighter look on my right eye and we'll do um, a darker look on my left. So um, for base, I'm going to go ahead and start with Elated. It's a real nice like matte cream color. I'm going to use that for my all over the lid look. Um, since I'm focusing on eyeshadow today, of course, I have already done my brows and my face. Okay. I just kind of like to have a base shadow all over. Um, just to give something to blend the others on top of. And I do also have my eye primer on as well already. <laughs> Thank you for all the love. Okay, so there's that. So this one's gonna be like a lighter, more natural look. So then I'm also going to take, um, do, yeah, I'll take Sincere. Um, it's a little more metallic, and I'm going to use a little bit smaller brush um, and use that for my inner corner highlight. I like to put a nice bright color in there just to kind of highlight your eye, give it a little pop. And then I'm also going to use that up under my brow bone to highlight the brow bone as well. Then for my outer corner, I am going to use, kind of going, making this up as I go. So for my outer corner, I think I'm gonna go ahead and start with Chipper. Um, it's kind of a medium brown matte. This is gonna go in my crease and um, kind of my outer V. Work it back into the crease there. So this is kind of a lighter, more like daytime look. Um, even if you want it a little bit lighter than this, you can just take it into the crease instead of out here. Um, and that would just basically give you a natural look. So I have Chipper there. I'm going to go ahead and blend it out a little bit. And this is just a clean, fluffy brush here. And then I'm going to go back a little bit more with um, 
So I think I'm gonna use a little of the brassy to put it in the center of my lid here. Just to brighten it up a little bit more. See the difference there? Okay, and then actually one thing that I really like to do, um, because on especially with this palette, because honestly I need to get a brown liner, which I actually might do that with this month's kudos. But since I don't have one just yet, um, and I like to use different colors for my eyeliner, I'm going to go ahead and take Chipper again um, and use it just to line my bottom lash line here with the liner brush. There we go. And um, if you want to, I'm going to line some of my upper lash line as well. If you want to get it a little darker, of course you can use it wet. If you want to get like a darker, finer line. There, I'm going just along my lash line there. So I said this is kind of a lighter, more natural look, and we're gonna go ahead. And I actually just opened. I'm dropping everything today. Um, I actually just opened a new 3D fiber lash mascara. It is about time. I said this is unfortunately my new mascara was one of the things that I accidentally packed. And my other ones had been in, running really low, so it'd be nice to have some lashes again. So as per usual, as most of you have seen me use the mascara by now, we start with the gel. I think the lawnmowers are making a comeback. Said I have been trying to wait for them to stop, but they just keep going. Okay, get a good coat of the gel on there. And then we go on with the fibers. Make sure to get a nice good coat of them on there. Can I see such a huge difference there between the fiber lashes and without? Sorry, I'm a little close to my phone. Okay. And then I'm going to go back over again with the transplanting gel. The second coat of transplanting gel just acts to lock in the fibers, of course. That way you don't get fallout throughout the day. Give me one second. I always have issues with my lower lash line. There we go. Okay, and then if you have any fallout, which I don't really think I do, you can always use a Q-tip to kind of clean it up a little bit. The thing I do a lot is accidentally touch, because my lashes are kind of naturally curled, I accidentally touch my eyelid with them. Shush, baby. Someone decided to be mean and lock the dog in the room with me. It's been pretty good, though. Yes, you have. Okay, so that's that eye done. Um, since it's the more natural look, I am only going to do one coat of fiber lashes for that one. I'm sorry, ladies. If you'll excuse me for one second, let me let the dog out. Okay, okay.
Come in here, I'll you. Okay, I guess I'll just leave the door open because as soon as I shut it, he just wanted back in. So, what? Okay, anyway, so there's our more natural looking eye. And now with my left eye, we're going to go um, for a darker look, something that you might wear. You know, more likely on like a night out or something. Or if you're just into darker eyeshadow. Makeup doesn't have rules. There's nothing saying that you can't wear dark eyeshadow during the day. So. I think this one I'm actually going to go a little more sparkly with as well. Because glitter's always fun. Alright, so. I'm thinking for this one since we used... A labeled sincere and chipper on the other one and a little bit of brassy. Probably gonna go more with like swanky, forthright, and zealous. Um, I might use a little bit of brassy for my lid color though, so let's see. That was the wrong brush, but it'll work. I'm gonna use um, brassy, which is kind of a brassy goldish color duly named. I'm gonna use that in my inner corner. Making all the weird faces today. And I'll use this one as my brow highlight over here. So I'm saying, you can already see just in the highlight. It's a little bit darker. Actually pull that into my corner a little bit here. Okay. Switch over to a slightly larger brush. Like I said, I'm pulling brassy just up and in a little bit, adding just a little on there at a time. He is just being a little whiner today. I think he missed me when I was at work. Okay, and then next we're going to tank, tank, <laughs> take Swanky here. Which honestly, like if you can't tell like which ones I've used the most, Swanky is one of my favorites. I use it um, in Zealous a lot. Ah. This is so glittery. So I'm going to take that and that's going to be my outer half of my lid. And I'll take it up a little bit. Which I think I'm going to take it up a little bit into right above my crease really. There we go. Just to darken that up a little bit here. I kind of, most of the time with my eyes, I end up starting with my lightest colors and working towards my darkest, so. Is that so far? And then, let me see, I'll switch brushes here a little bit. A little bit. I'll go with kind of a fluffy dome brush. And we're going to do Zealous, which um, is this one on the end. It's like a dark chocolate-ish brown, I would say. Okay, and that one I'm going to use. Pull into my crease. And my V here. that and then just to really deepen it up 
I am going to take a little bit of um, forthright as well. And let me see which one I'm going to use for that. Actually, I might use you. This one's um, like another dome brush, it's just not as fluffy. Again, your fourth right here. And that one is going right very outside. Looks a little crazy right now, but it'll be okay once we blend it. There, you see that like really deepens it up a lot. Don't ask. I'm just being goofy today. Kinda every day, really. But... Okay, so I'm gonna take my fluffy blending brush again. I'm just kinda pulling um, from inner to outer here. It's kinda hard to tell if I'm going that fast. And then I'm pulling down. Yeah. Kind of blending back and forth, kind of in a crescent shape, like a crescent moon. There we go. And then you, again, you can kind of see like the lighter clutch, the daytime, and then I go into the darker side. <laughs> Join the dark side uh, for the night. Yes, I'm a geek. I love it. So that's definitely good for there. And then I'm going to take my Lana brush again. Actually, you know, for this one, I will actually go with um, regular eyeliner. So I do like to use um, shadows a lot for eyeliner, but since I am doing a nighttime look, I'll go ahead and actually use my eyeliner. So I have our Precision Pencil in Perfect which is our black. I have to look off into my mirror here for a second. Okay. Again, just kind of barely lining along my lash line. And then we're going to bring it down here. There we go. And just connect up from the lower lashes into the corner. Um, and I did just do a little flick up at the end there for a little bit of a wing. It's kind of hard to tell with a dark eyeshadow, but it's a good thing. Means the eyeliner just blends right into it. So, and then for this one, gotta resituate myself a little bit here. Okay, for this one, I'm probably gonna do a couple coats of the mascara because I said this is the darker one, so I want it to be a little more dramatic. Hearing super awesome dramatic hero music in my background. My boyfriend's playing video game. And of course going back over the transplant and drill with the fiber lashes. Sorry, it's just easier for me to use a um, regular mirror for mascara. Oh, 
Okay. Have anything? Um, if I do get anything on my eyeshadow, um, to make sure that I don't just, you know, wipe the eyeshadow off, um, I just kind of dab it, and it helps to get any mascara off, because, like I said, I am one of the messiest persons when it comes to mascara. I don't know how, I don't know why. I just am. Like right there. A little bit more. There we go. And I'm going to do, go ahead and do a second coat with fibers and poke myself in the nose. Okay. Hey Sharon. So there's my second coat of lashes on my left eye. And I'm going to back with transplanting gel one more time here. Just to get that locked in. Thanks. Um, if you missed the beginning, I actually am doing a lighter and a darker version of the eyeshadow with palette one. So, just something a little different. So I really like how you can go from night to day with this. Well, really with any palette, but with this one in particular. Because it could be such a nice, light daytime look. But you can really darken it up for nighttime. I'm doing just a little bit of the um, transplanting gel for my bottom lashes. I don't generally do um, fibers on the bottom, but I do do fibers on my eyelid. There we go. Um, if you do have any stray fibers, I just kind of put the Q-tip on it and just roll it a little bit. It picks it right up. Yeah, I say eyes are kind of one of my biggest things that I love to do. But I just have to work on my mascara application because I would not say that I have a steady hand at all. So it tends to be a little bit messy. So now I think to finish the look off, we really just need to do something for the lips. Um, the question is, which item because honestly I have so many stinking lip products anymore it feels like <laughs> yes that's why q-tips are my best friend it makes it so much easier to clean up mascara when I'm done with it so I'm thinking for the daytime side I'm probably just going to do some gloss just to keep it light and pretty and friendly There's one side. Sorry, it makes it a little hard to do this because comments show and take up like half of my screen. So lips are a little harder to do on my phone. Okay, so we have a nice pretty gloss there. And then I think I'm gonna go ahead and go bold for the nighttime look and use my Splash Liquid Lipstick is actually in this cherry red color called Stubborn. I am awful with names. <laughs> but yeah, Stubborn. Okay, so. It's a little different because I'm only doing one side.
Um, with the liquid lipsticks, I just kind of take the tip and line my lip and then fill it in. There we go. And down the middle. Okay. Then fill in time. Okay. I'm afraid to press my lips together in case I can't get that line perfect. So there we go. We have a nice soft daytime look with palette one. And then we have a darker um, nighttime look with palette one as well so i love that's one of the things i love about palettes um, with the variety of colors you can get so many different looks out of one palette um and like daytime looks nighttime looks just all sorts of stuff you know and we have so many we have five different palettes now so really there's it's kind of like candy one of them will match you match what you want that's what you need. So, uh, did it anyway. There. I dabbed and it didn't turn out to be a disaster. But yeah, so today was featured palette to one. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I really like making eyeshadow looks, so I'm super excited. Um, if you're interested in the palettes and this awesome mascara that we have, as well as the eyeliner that I used on my second eye here. Um, it is part of our kudos this month. That's kind of why I'm featuring the palettes. Um, you can get a palette of your choice, so you can pick from the five, whichever ones you like. You get a palette, our 3D fiber lash mascara, plus an eyeliner, all for 74 bucks. Um, separately, that's 90 something and it's like because it's like a $19 savings so that's basically another eyeliner plus shipping and handling so that's an awesome deal and I mean these products are amazing as well we have a love it guarantee so if for any reason you don't like it or you don't like even just one of the items you can send it back no big deal you'll get your money back as well so and you're not going to hurt my feelings. I would rather you try it to see, you know, if you're going to love it as much as I do, then, you know, not because you're afraid that if you try it and don't like it, you're going to hurt my little feelings. Don't worry, you won't. I would rather you try it and fall in love with it or at least give it a chance. So tomorrow is Friday, and I think that is when we are going to go ahead and do palette five since it was our tie for first place and it is what has been kind of dubbed the unicorn palette because it is so colorful i got this in fall and it was gorgeous for that but it's also good for summertime and spring as well because there are just so many awesome like jewel tones in it so that will be tomorrow's look and I think if you guys like it, um, I might go ahead and do like a dual look as well for that since there are so many colors, kind of give a taste of each. So I hope you guys enjoyed this and I hope you have a good rest of your night. See you later.